game over, man. It's game over. Hello, YouTube. So today we have Schumer's Shepherd's Pie. This is a new 256 gigabyte image that he recently released earlier this month. And I finally got a hold of it. Um, and he recommends putting it on a Samsung Evo Select 256. But um, here we are, it does come pre overclocked and he does have some system recommendations, you know, just a really good power supply and a good cooling case, um, or you can undo the overclock, but the overclock is really gonna give you, you know, slightly better performance in the menu system here if you scroll really hard and also considerable uh, performance in PSP, N64, Naomi, Dreamcast, so that's for it. So speaking of him and his customization, this is running a two play base image and he's replaced the Pi options menu with how awesome love space 2001 great movie i love the addition of this and so it running a two play base image it has all those goodies that you expect uh in a image you know everything from you know adding a zinmo controller light gun if you have the aim track light gun uh network tools that's pretty standard uh, different usb modes to add a usb hard drive uh visuals and themes you know turn on and off the bezel project hersey themes are installed here as far as themes go, this Unify theme is probably the way you want to go, but he did install some other themes as well from 2Play that are on here. I haven't checked those out yet, but why I'm not going to change the theme is look at all these collections over here on the left. Uh, once you get past the consoles, okay, so starting with like Zelda, wrestling, all the Wipeout games, all the Ninja Turtle games. So he even said he made as many collections as he possibly could. Uh, like uh, all the running gun games, all the RPG games. So it goes on and on, all the Pokemon games, all the pinball games, um, all the Ninja Gaiden games. Uh, so quite a few collections here. I'm not personally a fan of that because there's just so many things. If I, Because if I know exactly where I want to go, um, you know, I can go there. However, I appreciate that he did all this because a lot of people might like it. And it's so easy to turn off. You just go over here to game collection settings. And right now there's 57 collections. You could just uncheck these boxes here. See, I can uncheck them and check them very easily. Um, if you were so inclined because you didn't want a particular collection or you did. So uh, I'm really digging this. This is not his first image. I've liked his work before. So let's go ahead and see these collections and see what kind of games are included. But I'm telling you right now, this one is looking great. Super great. So once you boot up the the uh, Raspberry Pi, you will be uh, asked to set up your controls. He has set it up with an Xbox 360 style controller, Xbox controller, so it worked just fine off boot for me. All games are you're rocking, you know, close to 4,700 games. It's actually not that many games. Uh, by the way, there are video snaps for all the games as well, and all the metadata there, which is pretty standard. But uh, you're gonna see a lot. These aren't just like this isn't just a dump, you know, like a Thomas Wade. These are really big games. These games take up a lot of space. So, same with Dreamcast, 57 CD-based games. Here you can see what's on here. And Dreamcast runs really well on the Raspberry Pi 4, especially when you overclock. It's a system that I, I you know, I, I, I wouldn't necessarily prefer to run it on anything else unless I was running it in like a Redream and I wanted to upscale it, then I'd use like a Nvidia Shield or a faster computer. Um, so we're looking around these collections, Atari 2600, you got 47. So again, you know, he's not throwing every single game on here. Maybe just some of the, the best of the best. Thomas Wave 20, Dreamcast 57, Game Gear 275, Game Boy 70. So, so again, he's not just throwing all the games on there. There's way more than 77 games for Game Boy. There's over a thousand Game Boy Advance games, but here we just have a 374. And, you know, I, I appreciate that because there's a lot of games that I will just never play. Um, and it's really easy to network in or drag and drop ROMs on a Raspberry Pi if you do. If there's a particular game that you have to uh, have now, it's Sega Genesis. I, ima I I don't know Schumer. I imagine he uh, is in America because he has it as Sega Genesis, not Mega Drive. 
uh, Sega Master System, two, so two, 583 games, Sega Master System 259, Nintendo 64, and not very many, and, you know, he even wrote this in his notes, I was reading, you know, he wrote, you know, something about, you know, I try, you know, but N64 is very hit or miss for the Raspberry Pi, and, you know, that's kind of always been the case. I feel like there's a lot more than the, this this amount of games right here that'll play, but um, it's still good that he at least included them versus not including them at all. Um, like somebody like Rick Dangerous does not include them for those reasons. Um, speaking of Rick Dangerous, it says, I was just reading that the Amiga set on here is from Rick, but uh, we'll see in a second here. So Naomi, 27 games. It's nice to see. This is a system that was kind of unlocked to us, you know, when the Raspberry Pi 4 came out. You know, that performance on it is, is definitely uh, much better than the Raspberry Pi 3. Neo Geo, 140 games. Neo Geo CD, 40 games. So really cool to see that. If, if anything, what I've seen so far is this this uh, image has a lot of uh, arcade-based games. You have, you know, a Thomas Wave, Naomi, huge arcade set, you know, big Neo Geo and Neo Geo CD type set. So really cool that a lot of time and effort into that, especially because those are harder to emulate or to, harder to buy and, and own yourself. Uh, Nintendo, 340 games. So again, Nintendo has like a thousand games. And here we are with a, 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 a best of the best selection. MS-DOS, wow, you added Might and Magic, nice. Ports, you got 27. Wow, nice to see so many ports. This is really cool. Descent 2, nice. I wonder if you put Half-Life, no Half-Life. Um, John Fury, I haven't played this one before. This looks good. I think actually I have a long time ago. Things like a Duke Nukem type game. Quake, Quake 3. Um, he also added some other things. I'll show you in a second, some experimental things. Oh, we got a Rick Dangerous game. All right, cool. PSP 36 games. That's quite a bit. So this is a lot. This is where a lot of your space is right here. So if you don't want to play PSP, you could play a lot of this. But it uh, looks like quite a few RPGs and things and games included that, uh, you know, not a lot of other people include. So some people might be excited about that. PSP Mini, you have Pac-Man Championship Edition. Nice. PlayStation, 135 games. That's a lot. So huge PlayStation set. Here's where a lot of your space is going to be on this image. Let's just scroll through this really quick. Looks like some good games here. Parasite Eve 1 and 2. Got all your Spyros. Your Tony Hawks. All the all your Tony Hawks. And then your Wipeouts. Cool. So as I was mentioning earlier in the video, how is your uh, your uh, options? Scum VM 25 games. And I imagine these are all in English. The thing you got to worry about with some other images out there is the Scum VM might be in their native language. Whoever makes the image. So Sega 32X, 35, Sega CD, again, CD, not the other, whatever they call it outside of the US. What is it, Mega CD? Um, Super Nintendo, 558, it's quite a few. Great system, a lot of titles. So I would find this, this is probably the system where I'd you know, have the hardest time to, uh, to scrub off some games. Now, these are these uh, Legend of Zelda Solaris uh, kind of remakes on a different engine. They're really cool. I highly recommend checking them out. There's quite a few more than I'm used to. Like I said, I, I feel like he's got some really good RPG titles. I think if anybody's into RPGs, this is uh, this whole image as a whole is, is really good. RPGs, and I noticed a lot of shoot 'em ups as well. But uh, we'll see. So, Adventure Games... So now we're in the collections. So these are all just repeats at this point after TurboGrafx-1694. These are all repeats at this point. Um, just, you know, within their own category. So like Contra, you have Contra Arcade, Contra 3, Contra 3 Restored. This hack restores the cheat codes. The Unlimited continues in ability to fight the secret final boss in normal mode from the Japanese version. Oh, that's cool. It's really cool like that the metadata is here too to explain that to me because I did not know this one. So it looks like there are some, some hacks on this image as well. That's really cool. You can also reset all your controls there, but you have to reset everything up. And then I did turn off the background music here. The other thing I did is I hit start on my menu here and I went to sound settings and I went ahead and uh, changed this to on. This was off before because I do like 
hearing the video snaps if I don't have background music on. So this is what I was reading too. Okay, so I guess it's in the two, two play toolkit is you do have the um, the skyscraper, you do have the Vulcan Pi 4 driver, you do have uh, Pi Kiss, you can go ahead and enable that. Um, so a lot of stuff that you can kind of tweak with um, and these scripts are pre-installed. So you don't have to go to GitHub and run these commands and go to the command line and do all that stuff. It's all set up for you. Um, that was in apps and tweaks. There's also some fixes here. Look at that, different region fixes. So there you go. If you want to go Japanese, European names, there you go. You just hit that. Now, sometimes the scripts work perfectly as planned. Sometimes they don't. So, you know, mess with this at your own risk. I always like to use images like as they come. Let's go ahead and see who he wants to thank. There you go. So some thank yous to everyone. To Virtual Man, Rick Dangerous, people making themes, Hursty, all those people out there. Easy Hacks. Cool. David Marty. Um, really cool. And then you can update the play box as two play comes out with more stuff. So let's go ahead and exit there. And, uh, that's what I was telling you. Like, uh, I, I prefer to keep an image kind of as the image maker makes it. And then I just have different SD cards and, you know, use it as is, but I know a lot of people kind of like to take an image and then make it their own. And this one definitely has a lot of those cool features, but, um, I love scripts like as much as I like tinkering and figuring and going on, you know, GitHub and finding everything and, and trying it out myself. And it's honestly usually a really good learning, uh, you know, opportunity. It's so nice when you're lazy to just have that all right here. So Schumer knocked it out of the park with this one. I saw that he released something before this that was kind of a beta build. And I'm not even sure if this is probably still in beta. And as he mentioned in his notes, you can read his notes, by the way, he's got a whole long description. Um, you know, that he's constantly working and, you know, he's funny that he wrote, you know, like, don't complain too much. I mean, you're going to find little things, you know, realize that most of us do this for free, right? Most people working on these images. So I got to, you know, commend him on that and, and agree that, you know, um, but he's also not using that as an out and just tossing something out in the wild that's just totally garbage. Like, I can tell you right now, this is a super solid image. I give it an A, no problem. It rocks. You can tell the TLC that's been put on here. And then he's really looked at every single thing, like adding pie kiss and, and you know, picking the perfect overclock. Um, you could tell that he's playing with the hardware, trying to get the most out of it, instead of just taking like a default or doing something that someone's already done before. He's working with two play, two play produces some great scripts and things. So I think he's around the right people and you know, um, from what I've seen, little I know, there's probably, just so you guys all know, there's a lot that I don't know, but um, you know, this so far from a, just from a user's experience is just a really well put together image. Um, and I think it's good for both the advanced user and the beginner because the beginner, a lot of it could be just be set it and forget it. And there's going to be quite a bit of this though that the advanced user might take advantage of, like using PyKiss as a as a desktop or jumping in there and playing with some of those scripts that are pre-built into there. And then uh, you know you can do the typical things, background music and, and, and bezel project and different themes. But uh, a lot of it's been done for you already. Now, um, probably the biggest deal I think on this one, as far as what's going to be polarizing, is that he, you know, chose which games to include. You know, we we came from an era where now with hard drives, you can pretty much put the entire every game ever manufactured for a particular system up to you know, uh, you know, until you know Sega Saturn or so when just the you know the games themselves don't run very good. So if you're looking for that kind of image, this probably isn't for you. But if you want more of the Rick Danger style and, and Schumer style of the best and the best, I mean, those two images to me are definitely in my top three. So long story short, Schumer, keep doing what you're doing. And if one of you are debating whether to grab this image or not, debate no longer. It's totally worth it. So a couple things right now, we're going through his favorites. I didn't play uh, many of these games. I just kind of showing you some video snaps as I speak and uh, a lot of really great games to check out here. This is another thing that I would highly recommend spending some time, especially if there's some games you've never played before. Now, as far as where do you acquire this image and how big is the download, it's about 190 uh, gigabytes, the download. Um, and uh, you know, you just write it to an image like normal. You do not have to go get go to like retropie.org and get the base image first it has everything for you i download this off of backups.me i'm sure it'll eventually uh show up on arcade punks if it's not already on there now but those are probably your two best bets uh for this build if you're so inclined to check it out 
So that's it. Like I said, A, I'm digging it. Let me know what you all think. That's what I think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.